Hello, I'm Liam, and we are playing Four Against Darkness. We are in Torment's Rest. We defeated the Gaunt Troll here in Room 6 and obtained the Anger Mace our patron seeks. And now we are exploring a bit to try to gain some more experience and treasure to help pay off our debt, which currently stands at 4,357 gold pieces. We owe that to the Divigna Marcias. Um, and uh, we have encountered a young red dragon here in Corridor 8. So, here we go. Young red dragon. I have not fought a dragon before. And we have the opportunity to, um, to wait and see how the dragon reacts. There's a small chance it could give us a quest. There's a small chance it could be sleeping, which would be great. Um, we could also attempt to bribe it, but I don't think we carry, if, if it, it may want, it may be amenable to a bribe, uh, uh, but we don't have enough to bribe it with, so I don't, th well, hold on, we have fool's gold, let me look up fool's gold, this might be a game changer, uh, core rules, Treasure. Where's our treasure table? Treasure table. Magic treasure. Fool's gold. These magical but fake gold pieces will let the user automatically bribe the next monster that asks for a bribe. No matter what the monster asks, the gold will appear enough to satisfy his greed. This is a one-use magic item. Let's do it. We're going to take a chance here. Uh, Fiendish foes, young red dragon, level 9. I don't know. It's it's gonna. It's got four treasure rolls. Level nine. Can we hit it? Nine. We'd have to. Throck has a plus four attack. So he rolls a five. We'd have to roll a five or better to hit. Five would explode. Elric. Uh, his he's got a plus two, so he would have to explode to hit it. Um, Blesk. Oh, and, and we're in a hallway. So, Throck and Elric attack with their main weapons. Blesk can attack with her lightning bolts and whatnot. Four. She'd still, she'd have to roll a five to hit it. <clears throat> and, um, Jim rolls with advantage, but he has a plus five. Eight life. This is probably a <laughs> this is probably a bad idea. But these guys want treasure. They want treasure and they want levels. So I think they're going to go for it. Uh, we may regret this. So, okay. We're just attacking. Level 9. It has 8 life. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If we do 5 wounds to it, it'll bump it down to level 8. There's 2 attacks. Uh, four treasure rolls as its first attack. It will breathe fire. All characters must save versus level 7 dragon breath. Uh, or take D3 D3 damage. Okay. We're okay. It's going to be all right. Thereafter has two attacks. Young dragons never met. Okay, here we go. Um, we're going to attack first. Throck. With his two-handed crushing uh, hammer masterwork, two, <laughs> two plus four, six, not enough. Throck misses. Elric, Elric's got to explode if he wants to hit this thing. He does not. Blesk casts lightning bolt. Here we go, Blesk. Three plus her level is seven, not enough. Does she retain the spell? Yes, she retains the spell. She has a three and six chance to retain it here in this Dungeon that has a, a uh, abundance of mana, we determine from the Twisted Dungeons table. <clears throat> okay, Jim. Oh, shoot. Jim is not attacking with his sword. Jim's attacking with his bow. So he doesn't roll with advantage. Uh, and he only has plus his level. Shoot. Okay, four, five. Jim has to roll a five. Oh, he explodes. Good job, Jim. Six. And again, twelve. Uh, 15 plus 4 is 19. Uh, he does 2 wounds to it with his bow. 
That's outstanding. Good job, Jim. Okay, now the dragon breathes fire. As its first attack, this <clears throat> reptilian will breathe fire. <coughs> All characters must save <clears throat> versus level 7 dragon breath at half their level. Okay. <clears throat> level 7. So we got to roll 7 or better. Throck is level 3. I believe we round down, so he gets to add 1 to this roll. 4, he does not. So he takes D3 damage. 1. Okay. Throck is burned for 1 point of damage. Elric. 3. Uh, plus 2 is his level 5. Not enough. He takes 1 point of damage. Not terrible so far. Blesk. 2 plus 2 is 4, not enough. She takes 1 point of damage. Jim. 5 plus half his level 7. He saves. He takes no damage. All right, that was not terrible. That is its first attack. Thereafter, it has two attacks. Okay, so it's our turn again. Okay, Throck. With his masterwork hammer, three plus four is seven. Not an, not enough. Elric has to explode to hit, right? Five plus two is seven. Not enough. Blesk, we're going to try a lightning bolt again. Oh, jeez. I knocked her over. Blesk, four plus her level is eight. Ah, oh, it's not enough. Does she retain the spell? She does not. She loses that spell. That is, and that's all of her lightning bolts. So she's got, she's got a scroll of lightning bolt left. <laughs> she's got scroll, several scrolls of escape, if she wanted to. Uh, looking at her card here. Scroll of lightning bolt, three scrolls of escape. She has a wand of sleep, scroll of sleep. So you could try to put this thing to sleep as well. That'd be something. We do have protect scrolls. But uh, that's Blesk. Who's next? Jim with his bow. Four. Plus four is eight. Not enough. He does not hit. This is tough to hit. I'm thinking. Okay. It is the dragon's turn. Gets two attacks. It's going to attack Elric. Uh, it attacks the front row. So that's going to be Elric and Throck. So... Throck needs to defend against level 9. He gets a 2, plus his defense is 3. That is not enough. He takes a point of damage. Elric, 3, plus his defense is 2, is 5. That is not enough. Elric takes a point of damage, and it's our turn. Okay, Throck, here we go. Roll a 5 or 6, buddy. 3, plus 4 is 7. Not enough. Elric? is going to heal Throck, I believe. Because he has a very low chance of actually hitting this dragon. But he will roll a d6 plus his level's 4, so he can heal Throck for 3 plus 4 is 7. Throck is completely healed. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. That is good, because Throck's in the front row. And... He uses his Bless spell. I do not believe the mana abundance quality of this dungeon applies to clerics. So that was Elric's turn. Blesk. We're out of lightning. No, we have a scroll of lightning bolt. Let's use it. That's what it's there for. Excellent. She explodes. Now, the rules about this mana abundance, if she had cast that spell, she would um, take a point of damage. But it said explicitly it doesn't apply to scrolls and such. So, 6 plus 4 is 10, plus her level is 14. She definitely hits. Lightning Bolt does 2 points of damage to the young red dragon. And if we can do one more point of damage, we'll knock it down a peg. So, Jim's turn. With his bow... Here we go. Two. No, that's not going to be enough. That's six. He misses. All right. It is the dragon's turn. So Throck defends against level nine and fails. He takes a point of damage. Uh, Elric. Four 
four, plus his defense is two, still not enough. Elric takes a point of damage. Okay. Our turn. Throck. Come on, Throck. Oh, jeez. I am really bouncing these dice today. Two. That's a miss. Two plus four is six. Not enough. Elric. Uh, yeah, Elric's going to um, heal himself. Oops. I colored in the wrong thing here. He didn't use a bless. He did not use a bless on Throck. He used a heal. So we'll fix that. Still has three blesses. Blesses are basically removing curses, like getting petrified. So there's one heal. He's going to use his heal now on himself. Or the cap for this pen go. Here it is. Uh, D6. Five plus his level. That's four. That's nine. Elric is completely healed. Okay. And now... Blesk. Let's try. Did we use the uh, Did we use the scroll of lightning bolt? I believe we did, and I believe I forgot to mark it. I'll watch the replay. I'll assume that I did. Let's try uh, let's try the wand of sleep. Let's look up the sleep rolls here. Core rules. Spells. Sleep. The spell works like an attack roll. Does not affect. Oh, doesn't affect dragons. Never mind. Okay. Um. Back to the. Where's our young red dragon? Okay. We're going to. What should Blesk do? Sleep doesn't work. Escape. Protect. She could use those protect, but let's try to hit it. She has a plus four. She's got a hit of social. We need a five. She's going to use her bow. That means actually, yeah. Six. Excellent. She explodes. Blesk is the hero of this battle, I think. Eleven plus, uh, plus her level is four. So that's uh, 15. So she hits. And that knocks this dragon down a peg. It is now level eight. Um, do dragons do a morale check? It is a boss. Do bosses do morale checks? Where's our uh, core rules? I believe so. No. Eh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Morale. When monsters lose more than half their number or a boss loses more than half its life points. Okay. We're going to do a morale check. I'm double checking. Never met his wandering monster, so it might run away. Maybe it's met its match. It does. It flees. Fled. Okay, that turned out. That turned out okay. Let's do our XP roll before I forget. Here we go, Throck. This is your third chance. We need a four or better. No. <laughs> okay, Throck. I'm going to mark down to you that this was Throck. So I remember. And, okay, treasure. Um, young red dragon. Yeah, a bit of four treasure rolls at plus one. That's fantastic. What do we get? Three plus one is four. One gem worth 2d6. That's six times ten gold pieces. So we get a gem worth 60. It's our first roll. One plus two. Oh, one plus one is two. Two d six times five gold pieces. Uh, eight times five, so forty gold pieces. Next roll. That's uh, another one. One plus one is two. Two d six. Seven times five is thirty five gold pieces. So we found two piles of gold here. And last but not least, four five. One item of jewelry worth 2d6 times 20. Two, so 40 gold pieces. Jewelry. 40. We did our XP roll. That's a young dragon. Okay. Let's 
head down here. We're doing okay. Do we need to? I think we're fine. We don't need to rest. We already bandaged. Um, let's just keep going. Four, five. 45. We've got like a crossroads, which is going to be problematic in the space that we're in. 45. We'll just draw it like this. Goes, got a thing going north. We'll just end because that would bump us into the wall. We'll head south like this. There we go. Um, eight. This is corridor nine. Oh, you know what I did? I bet I messed this up. If I go back to this reference sheet. Bo no, it was a boss. Okay. I was worried that we, when we rolled on the contents of this corridor, that I read the room side of the chart. Oops, I'm not even showing this. Here we go. I was worried that I had read the room side of the chart rather than the um, corridor side. But it would have been a boss either way. So here in 9, what do we find? 5. It's a corridor. Special features. And we can search. What do we... Roll D6. 1. A fountain. But... Um, Further fountains have no effect. We encountered a fountain earlier. So this one has no effect on us. So we'll we'll call this uh, unused. Let's say it's fresh. Nine. Room nine. We can search it. I, I don't like to search corridors because there's a better chance of encountering wandering monster. 9, 10, let's go south here, so pull up the flow chart, and what do we, we have, a, oh, looks like it's going to be a room, 64, yep, it's a long hallway, it's this one here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then smallish room. There is a the tile puts a door on the south side here. That would take us pretty close to the edge of the map. So I'm gonna make a command decision here. Put the door on the west, and we'll say that this just connects back out to the exit. So this is gonna be a room ten. What are the contents? of the room. Nine. Empty. And we can search it. Let's do that. Room 10. Empty. Our search table. Roll a d6. One. Wandering monster. Okay. Uh, so wandering monster we roll on this little table. Four, and we've got a minion. So this is going to be uh, M8. This is our eighth minion encounter. Minions. Fiendish foes. Minions table. Roll a d6. Oh boy. 2d3 plus 2 chaos slavers. So that's a 1, that's a 2, 3, plus 2, 5, Chaos Slavers. I have not encountered these fellows before. Level 7, 2 treasure rolls, morale plus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The Cruel Slavers have set up a trap. Before the fight begins, resolve the bear trap level 4 on the traps table. We don't have a rogue. If met as a wandering monster, the slavers will not have the trap. And that's us. We encountered a wandering monster from searching. So no trap. Uh, just 5 level 7 uh, slavers with morale plus 1. Okay. They attack first because they're wandering. There's 5 of them. They'll attack everybody, and they'll attack. Who's our third person? Is Blesk. They'll attack Blesk 
twice. So we need to defend against level 7. 5, Throck. 5 plus 1 is 6. That's not enough. Takes a point of damage. Elric. 1, that's a fail. He takes a point of damage. I'm a Chaos Slaver. Blesk is attacked twice. 4, her defense is plus 1. 5, not enough. She takes 2 points of damage. That's not good. She's half dead. More than half dead. <laughs> uh, Jim, four. His defense is two, six. Again, not enough. We're getting hit a lot more in this dungeon than we were previously. Um, that's okay. Let's see. Throck is just going to attack. Here we go, Throck. Five. His masterwork hammer explodes. Five. Six explodes again. It's 11 again. 17. 18. His attack is the 22. He takes out three chaos slavers with one swipe of his masterwork two handed hammer. Uh, that causes the other two to make a morale roll, and they stay. They're staying in the fight. I think they're making a mistake, but, you know, you be you, Chaos Slavers. Um, Elric, six. He explodes. Uh, eight plus two is ten. He takes out one more of the Chaos Slavers. Blesk. We're just going to use our sword. 5 plus 4 is 9. She takes out the remaining Chaos Lord. Excellent. They have no treasure because they were wandering. Just like they had no trap. Let's see if this door is locked. It is not. And uh, so this door is though. So I'll have to bash it in. But this is going to be Corridor 11. And let's see what is in Corridor 11. Seven minions. Okay, more minions. Maybe back to the minions table. This is minion nine, minion encounter nine. We're getting close to our XP roll. Okay, what do we got in the corridor? One D6 plus six orc looters. One seven orc looters. And again, we're in a corridor, which changes things up a little bit. They are level five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, treasure rolls minus one. Orcs are afraid of magic and must test morale each time one or more is killed by a spell. If a spell caused their number to drop below 50%, I don't know if, I don't think the sleep spell technically kills them. And I, I suspect we used that scroll of lightning bolt. Um, that Blesk has, so that, I don't think that's going to apply. Let's have, let's have, a, um, yeah, let's have Blesk go right off the bat. Now nah, we'll just go in order so I don't confuse myself. Again, Throck, two-handed hammer, five, explodes, six, um, plus four is ten, they're level five. He does. He takes out two orc looters. Uh, he can only attack uh, the two in the front row. So uh, two are down. If he'd done more, I think it wouldn't count. He would, the most he could kill in a corridor, corridor is two. We're down here. So Elric is also in the front row. He rolls a six. Explodes. Seven plus two is nine. That's enough for one. Uh, okay, now Blesk, let's use the, we'll use, um, we'll use the Wand of Sleep. Should we? They're only level five. They're only level five. And who's in the front? Throck and Elric, they, they're doing fine. So we're going to save our spells. And Blesk will use her bow. Three, plus her level is four, seven. That hits one, so she takes out. Uh, one of the fourth orc looter that leaves three, so they're gonna do a morale roll. Uh, afraid of magic, they're afraid of magic and must test morale. 
Spell cause, test the minute. So it wasn't a spell, so they just do a normal morale check. Three, and they flee. Remaining three, flee. Three treasure rolls minus one. They're not wandering. They're just hanging out in the corridor. I guess this is their uh, this is their place. So what did I say? Uh, three treasure rolls at minus one. So what do we find? One minus one, no treasure on that roll. <laughs> one minus one, no treasure. Wow, oh, jeez, three ones. Are you kidding me? Uh, no treasure on those guys. Fair enough. Okay, we will make our... Oh, we need to... Uh, this door is locked. Somebody's got to bash it in. Throck easily bashes this door down. We're now back to the entrance. There are a couple of places we haven't explored. We don't know what's north here. We don't know what's behind this door. But we are home free with our anger mace. That was our primary goal. So, we're going to exit the dungeon. We'll heal up. We'll um, resupply. We'll turn in our anger mace. We'll figure out if I use that lightning bolt scroll. Um, we'll complete our patron quest, which will take us to faction three. So, maybe we'll, I'll start incorporating some other factors of, um, of the Divigna Marcia faction. We're all level four except for Throck. Throck is only level three. So, but I I don't know. I'll, I I my plan is still to do the four against the abyss. Throck is maybe a little low level for that. He's only level three. Oh, we'll get an XP roll though when we when we turn in this quest. So, we'll see if Throck levels up. We'll do that next time. We'll play again soon. Until then, friends. Keep your lanterns lit. And your heart's warm. Thanks for watching.